I'm Carrie Jones of the Pottawatomie News Station, coming to you live from the Pottawatomie Exclusive Science Technology Sector, or PESTS. Soon we will be entering the time machine. What time will it be set for? Well, the events that we want to see happen sometime between 780 BC and 750 BC. We want to interview Jonah after it happened, so we will be going to 750 BC. Okay, sounds good. Let's go! We are now boarding the time machine. Oh! My head is spinning. Where's my assistant? Oh well, we'll find her later. There is Jonah. Jonah! Jonah, can I have an interview? What? An interview? What's that contraption? Oh, that that's a camera. A what? An idol? <sighs> I hate idols. Let me tell you about the time I talked to the Ninevites. Oh, yes, that is exactly what I wanted to hear. Young lady, don't interrupt a prophet. It's no fun being smited. All right. Now, when the Lord first came to me and told me to go to Nineveh, I did not want to go. Nineveh was the capital of Assyria, our enemy. My mind could not comprehend why God would want to save a non-Israelite nation. At the time, Assyria was at war with the mountain tribe Urartu, and numerous plagues had befallen them. Do you think these things might have made them more ready to repent? Possibly they might have viewed them as... Signs as judgment. Wait, have you heard the story before? That doesn't matter. What did you do next? Well, I decided to run away. I went down to Joppa and hopped on a boat to Tarshish, and you'll never believe what happened next. I don't know. Everything was going as planned when a violent storm suddenly started. I was asleep in the boat when the captain came and woke me up, and he took me to the deck where all his crew were praying to their gods. They decided to cast lots and the lot fell on me, which means I was, uh, I was at fault for making the storm happen. I told them to throw me overboard, but they tried to row back to shore. But they threw you overboard eventually, right? Wait, my child. We do not want to jump ahead. Patience is a virtue of the Lord, our almighty God, who is Lord over all and everything, even you. And your false idols! Oh, sorry, Jonah! It's fine, but let us take a moment to reflect upon your evil color. Lord, forgive her for she has done evil. Jonah, can you just finish your story? Oh, yes, yes. <coughs> <coughs> they tried to row back to shore, but they could not make it. So I yet again told them to throw me overboard. Why would you do that? What else would I do? I don't know. Exactly. But anyway, I was thrown overboard and the seas grew calm and I was swimming away and when all of a sudden a huge something came up behind me and everything went black. It must have been a large fish or a whale. What was it like in there? It was a dark abyss full of despair. I prayed to the Lord to save me. Would you like to hear my prayer? Uh... I think you can just skip it. All right, my little sheepy. Well, anyways, I prayed to the Lord, and after three days, the whale or large fish vomited me up on the land. The Lord must have told him to do it, and the Lord heard my prayer, and he answered it. What happened next? Well, I went to Nineveh and told them what God told me. Which was? In 40 days, Nineveh will be overturned. What did they do? They all put on sackcloth and fasted and prayed. How foolish of them to think God would save them. Why was that foolish? Well, they weren't God's chosen people. They didn't deserve God's forgiveness. They were Israel's enemy. But they were forgiven, right? Unfortunately, yes. Um, I went outside of the city and I hoped, I still hoped that God would destroy them. As I was sitting there hoping, God grew a vine for me and it gave me wonderful shade. It, it was so hot that day. But the next day, a stupid little worm came and ate up my vine. I was so mad I wanted to die. What happened then? Well, I got lectured about it by God. God said if 
so that if I cared so much about a vine, then why shouldn't he care about a big city? That is a good point. Well, I guess that's the end of the story, isn't it? Yeah, that's about it. I just went home and Nineveh lived on their happy little lives. Well, thank you for your time, Jonah. Yes, my little sheepy. You watch out for false gods. God bless your soul. Thank you. Yes. Now, before we go back to the future, let me summarize this a little. Oh, Ronnie, where have you been? Oh, howdy, Carrie. Thank goodness I found you. Look what I found. Oh, isn't that just the bee's knees? Well, anyways, back to the summary. From this story, we can learn that God forgives us if we repent, God loves everyone, not just Jews or Christians, and that God has control over creation and me. This has been Carrie Jones and Ronnie McKay signing off. Exclusive sector of science and technology sector. Oh, and we are recording. <laughs> oh, Ronnie. What are we going to do? You need to stop talking, Ronnie. Shush, shush, shush. I'm sorry. We, we are live. I'm sorry, we are live. This has been Carrie Jones. <laughs> do you think we could cut